When the prince was struck by the sands of time, something was woken within. Something strange and cunning. Something dark. The seven years spent on the run had embittered the prince and made him whole. This burden sustained his other half, gave it strength. The prince was tempted to do as it said, for it was a light in the darkness, offering comfort and guidance to a man who had just lost everything. But what were its intentions? Why did it happen? Only time would tell. Father would tell me stories. Pay about attention. Something's happening down there. Is that? It's the vizier. He has been completely transformed. Interesting. He has used the power of the sands to transform his army, and these artifacts will allow him to transport them across the city with ease. He appears to be in complete control. Things do not look too good for you at the moment. I will not let the Vizier have Babylon! My city! My throne! He has used that beam as a gate. certainly went according to plan, did it not? You really should know by now that entering portals made of sand only leads to trouble. I will simply have to resort to a more traditional form of transport. Hopefully with greater success.
Wonderful. Do we not have enough to deal with already? That chariot should get us home. Are you sure you can control this thing? Let us hope! If I crash, it is the end for both of us! The Prince! Stop him! And so once more the Prince began the journey home. His mind a fire with visions of the justice he would visit upon the Vizier. Vigilant. Turn right. Head left. You have done well, Prince, though I am sure it was not intentional. Watch out! Now that was close. Behind that column. The once bright and vibrant streets of Babylon now stood all but deserted, its inhabitants either dead or fled. Those left behind suffered terribly, captured, tortured, and transformed. But the prince did not notice this. So focused was he on the vizier. I'm impressed. Oh, good. Your opinion means a great deal to me. Is that how you thank the man who just saved your life? First, you did not save my life. I did. Second, you are not a man. Just a disembodied voice. A ghost. And third, I never asked for your help. And I certainly do not need it. While I admire your bravado, you would be wise to show some respect. And you would be wise to keep quiet. You are distracting me and we are no longer alone. 